coming down the home stretch. Let's go. Freaking beautiful out here. What is happening, my friends? Welcome back to another morning run. Another little vlog here in Sonoma County, California. Starting the day off with a 10 mile run. So I'm gonna take you with me. And then we're gonna come back and just go through the day here at the ranch. So you see that I spend a lot of time up here. I'll explain exactly what I kind of do when I'm up here, I'll show you a little bit here and there and then uh, give you some updates on what's to come here in the next week or two as I continue to bounce around the United States. And before we get going into Sonoma County, just kind of taking you along some of the scenic route here, I'll give you that update because I was in Nashville where I'm from for two months my arm's kind of getting tired. And then I came back here for Thanksgiving, spent time with family, friends, and those alike. And uh, I'll be here actually until Friday. Then I go back to Nashville because my little brother's in the semifinals before state for high school football. So assuming they win, I will stay for another week in Nashville and then uh, head back to Northern California until the beginning of the year. And that's when this nomad journey will start to get a little crazy. But next week on Sunday, I've got a surprise for you. That's the only hint I'm going to give you in this video. You'll just have to wait for next Sunday's video. Because it's getting crazy. You know what? No. I gotta give you one more hint. Because just saying that it's gonna be crazy is a little bit misleading. Rather, it's just something that uh, was super unexpected. And uh, sometimes, I guess you just gotta do what you gotta do in this whole idea of growing up. But stay tuned till next Sunday. So really quick, just to provide some value here, let's talk about my fueling strategy to get me through these 10 miles today. And also what's the goal of the 10 miles? So fueling strategy, I didn't eat. I've been having a lot of carbs here during the holidays. So last night's meal will be kind of the source of my energy from food. So last night, some rice, potatoes, and uh, yeah, and I had brisket and a salad. So majority carbs and protein there fueling me. And then for supplements, I had my electrolyte powder this morning, which I've been using something called Element, L-M-N-T. It's a bunch of good electrolytes. I'm not affiliated with them. Performix, BCAAs, I am affiliated. Use code NICK30 on anything on their website for 30% off and then I also had just like a carb fueling supplement called G1M Sport. But aside from that, 
today's 10 miles is to run as slow as possible. Now, there's a lot of hills out here on the roads, so it's a little tougher to keep that conversational pace, but targeting like a nine minute pace, uh, because the slower you run, the faster you will actually get for race day if you are training for something. So talk about that a lot. 80% of your runs should be in that zone two heart rate, which should be about 60% of your max heart rate, 40 to 60%. So anyways, that's my nugget of value on this run. I'll show you some of the scenery as we continue to go. There really is nothing better than the morning, fresh air, sweating in nature, quietness. Yeah, I love it. What a cool little town. I'm about five miles in. It's time to keep on rolling through the countryside. Here's my random thought of the day. Is exercise not just the evolution of us as humans evolving? For example, lifting weights. We've just made those weights to be what we used to lift as rocks. And then endurance or like sprinting is just how we would used to run away from tigers or a slow tiger versus a fast i don't know it's blowing my mind i guess this whole conversational pace is working well i just ran down a hill for a mile it's time to go back up i would like to say this is gonna suck but i'm gonna reframe my mind and say this is gonna be awesome because it's gonna push me to be better reframe Coming down the home stretch. Let's go. Uh, 10 miles, 857. What did I say? A nine minute pace. Crew is pretty slow. Let's see what the average heart rate was. Average heart rate was, holy cow, 1800 calories. 158 is the average heart rate, a little high. I'd like that to be about 10 beats per minute lower um, elevation pretty crazy today so does it tell me on my watch 977 feet elevation I guess it's not that much but there was hills anyways I'm gonna catch my breath go do a light upper body dumbbell workout before we keep cruising through this day oh. here we are on the tennis court we've got my travel stuff. I actually just keep these adjustable dumbbells here. Now I've got my ab wheel, jump rope, bands, adjustable dumbbells up to 80. And I'm about to just do 30 minutes upper body. I'm going to set a timer for 30 minutes. I'm going to do an AMRAP, A-M-R-A-P, as many rounds as possible. Couldn't keep up right here. Basically, I'm going to go with some push-ups. I'm going to go with bicep curls. I'm going to go banded tricep extensions. I'm gonna go an ab wheel, and then I'm also gonna pick one other thing. So five things, as little rest as possible, as many rounds in 30 minutes. And then we'll call a bunch, but we'll get there. So I switched it up just a tad from what I said that I was gonna do. Instead, we're doing the same AMRAP, but the exercises are different. If you wanna do this at home and you have the equipment, go right ahead. We got 15 push-ups, 10 alternating bicep hammer curls, 15 overhead tricep extensions. You can do that with a dumbbell as well. 10, 10 ab wheels, throw in a crunch if you want. 
and 12 bent over rows. All right, seven rounds. I feel it. I feel good. Oh, all right, now this is just awkward. Let's go get in the cold plunge. All right, the water is about, let's see what we got here, 51 degrees. I'll sit in here for three minutes. When your body goes into the fight or flight response, like putting yourself into a cold water immersion, that initial fight or flight response is normal. You're teaching your body to react, right? The physiology that is unwinding. But I was just having this conversation the physiology that's happening right there is basically your body's response and ability to heat itself up, right? So whether that's coming from breathing techniques or the shiver when you get out of cold water, all of the benefits are gonna start to take place naturally, not only in the water, but once you get out. So first thing, as you noticed, the breath, three hard inhales through the nose, and then one long exhale out the mouth different breathing techniques that you can do for different situations but this is one that has been shown to calm that uh, the, the neurological connection between the brain and the fight or, fight or flight response so there's a little nugget for you feeling nice all right time to go grab a bite to eat change clothes and get to doing some work out here in the uh, brush the fire prevention work. All right, we got four eggs, chorizo, brisket with barbecue sauce, gluten-free bagel, jam, greens, protein shake, and a hood, because I need to warm up. All right, so the age-old question, what do I do when I'm up here in Sonoma County? Well, a lot of it has to do with fire prevention. There's a season where it's really hot up here, really dry, and season or the fires can come through a little faster, I guess. There's just more of a chance, right? Not faster, but we try to do as much as we can to keep the brush on the ground and the dead limbs cut and hauling stuff off to burn piles to really just eliminate the fact that if a fire did come through, then it wouldn't spread as fast, right? So we're, we're, we're constantly trying to maintain the acreage with uh, the brush. So I'm gonna take you around and show you a little bit of uh, kind of how I do it and what I'm generally doing when I'm doing manual labor up here in uh, Sonoma County. So follow along. Basically what happens is I take the blower, if you follow me on Snapchat, I made a little joke, haha. <laughs> you can use your imagination on YouTube. But I blow everything into a snake formation, then I come through with the shovel, with the rake, with everything that I can to essentially pick it up and take it to the burn pile, which is what we have here on the Kubota here. And now we're at the burn pile, it's already been burnt out. But uh, it doesn't hurt that it's freaking beautiful out here. Look at this. So, time to dump.
So this right here, that's about eight trash cans so far. I assume, I don't know if you can see behind me, that entire grove right there, I blew, blew yesterday, that'll be about 100 trash cans. Today, I don't know how many I'll get in, but I'm gonna check in with you whenever the day's work is done. Probably won't eat lunch, go right through, and then we have a pre-Thanksgiving dinner tonight. All right, so I got to get back to a little bit more work. And also, look at this view. In flip incredible. But I got to realizing, there's not much else to show you today. It's really, I kind of got what I wanted to get done. And telling you what I was doing here, Give you a little tips on the run, little tips on the cold plunge. And now it's time for the big reveal. I had to cut the engine for the big reveal. So what is the big reveal to bring this video full circle? Next week, you gotta tune in because I'm going to Sarasota, Florida. But I'm not gonna tell you why yet. You gotta watch next week's video to understand why. Also, this is hilarious. I don't know if I'm supposed to look at the camera or the screen that's showing me my face. It's kind of weird on the GoPro. But that is all I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And you're gonna be here with me next week in Sarasota, Florida to see what I am doing. But either way, I appreciate you tuning in to these nomadic journey, crazy lifestyle. I don't even know if I can consider it still the nomadic series, but uh, either way, I appreciate you. I'm cutting this video because I talk way too much. It's probably a 30 minute video by now, but I appreciate you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're the first one to see my videos on the tube of the U with me. That's the end of my YouTube sales pitch. See you next week. Have an awesome freaking day, and don't forget to smile. Awesome.